Hello everyone, welcome to Center Stand Mechanics, my name is Kyle and today I'm going to do a sort of a standalone video on a problem I've discovered with uh, this bike I'm building on. Um, some of you that watch the channel know I've been working on the ultimate zombie apocalypse bike and um, things are going well. Um, I'm almost ready to take it out on the test uh, for a test drive here. But um, the thing is, you know, it's running pretty bad. <laughs> I uh, I had lots of other stuff to do on the bike, and uh, now that it's all that stuff's done, now I'm gonna focus on getting the engine running better. And uh, discovered a problem that um, is gonna require me taking the engine back out of the frame briefly, and then I'll put it back in. But um, but I wanted to make this video for anybody that's having a similar issue. Um, as I looked online and I couldn't find anything else on this exact problem. So I thought I'd make a standalone video on this uh, one issue because I'm sure other people have had this problem. So basically what's happened, um, the cam timing is out one tooth. And uh, I don't know how it happened. I maybe you know, I must have screwed it up or whatever. But, you know, it is what it is. It's out one tooth. I don't know. I thought I was pretty careful when I originally, you know, installed the cam. But, you know, it's it's kind of got a weird timing mark. It's it's pointed straight up. And it's, it's you know, it's it can be easily swayed one way or the other. So unless you're really, really careful with it. So... I carried on, put the rest of the bike together, and and now it's running crappy, and I'm like, what, you know, why? Nothing seems to make sense. Um, a couple of things that kind of led me down this path was, um, I was trying to time it with a timing light, and I couldn't get it, like, it was showing that it wanted to be advanced more, but it was already, at, you know, at the top of the advanced portion of the of the points plate if you know what I mean so I couldn't even I couldn't advance it even more like it was showing me to do and uh, it was still popping and backfiring and everything else so I'm like what's going on what's going on um uh, one of my subscribers actually pointed out that he thought it might be out of tooth <laughs> I was like I sure hope not because that means I gotta take the engine out of the frame but you know and then I started thinking well it could be and you know how do you how do you um, you know how do you find out if that's true or not you know because it's because the timing marks deep inside the valve cover like it's on the pointing up on the sprocket which is in the center of the engine you know it's covered there's no there's no window to look at it so I was like well you know, that might be true, but I want to kind of verify that it's true before I go through all the work of taking the engine out of the frame and taking the valve cover off. And then, you know, it'd be nice to know you're going down the right path. So, so I thought about it and thought about it. I looked online. I couldn't figure it out. Um, didn't really see anything um, about how to uh, tell or not, you know. And then, I, and then it hit me. I was like, you know, if, if, if only I had a timing mark on the end of the cam that I could see on the outside and I was like well there isn't one and then but there is right so I'll show you what I figured out so sorry excuse my tool bench I've been <laughs> been kind of busy so here's the cam here's another cam a different it's the same cam just a different one out of a different engine and so here I gotta put you on my here just one sec here okay so so this is the uh, point side of the cam this is the centrifugal advanced side of the cam uh, so this would be left right and then and then so here's the timing mark right here this little notch if you can see it and so there's no way to see this mark when the engines together so you're like, well, how do I do it? How do I do it? But this little um, little hole here, there's a pin that goes in here. I'm just going to stick this drill bit in here. But there's a pin that holds the um, centrifugal 
advanced mechanism that rides on here well it's keyed into this cam with this little pin so the pins out but I'll stick this drill bit in here and if you look down it hopefully this shows up for you and it lines right up with this timing mark this tooth it's in perfect plane with the timing mark so so in that way as long as this is pointing straight up and you're on top dead center then your timing is right so if you follow what i'm saying so here i am so you can see timing marks lined up perfectly there like here's the This is the top dead center mark. And then here. And uh, yeah, they're lined up perfectly. So here's the, the pin. And it should be pointing. So if you look at how it's aligned, it's it's back that way just a bit. It should be it should be pointing more this way, straight up and down. It might not show up too well on camera, but Probably hard to see on camera, but it's slightly pointing that way, which indicates to me it's out one tooth. If you look at it like that, you can see that it's it's tilted that way. Okay, so unfortunately, I gotta take this. Engine out of the frame and skip the chain over one tooth and uh, should start running a lot better. So I'll bring you back when I uh, when I got this out on the floor and we'll skip it over one tooth and and uh, get it ready to put back in. All right. Okay. So I got the engine out of the bike and onto the floor here. I got the valve cover off. And then, so I've got my timing mark realigned right here. There's this mark here. And if you look at the timing mark, it's, it's kind of off on on well, I'll exaggerate a bit but it's like off on that way right it's just, it's just off a little bit yeah so indicating me in, indicating to me that it's it's off one tooth that way so I've got to bring it back that way just one tooth and uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to loosen off this cam chain adjuster. I'm going to pop out these bearings and flip the chain around one tooth. So we'll go through that right now. There. So, I mean, it. if you look at it, just kind of glance at it, it, it does look straight up and down, but it is off just slightly. So I'm going to back off this adjuster and 
uh, let's take this right out. This is a little cam chain adjuster. Take all this out. I'll just place it on the tool bench for now. And then you'll probably need all the slack you can get. So you got to take these bearings off. Just sort of pop it up. Slide the bearings out. Do that on both on both sides. There we go. Okay. And then it's just a matter of pulling it up. One tooth. And just flopping this chain around like that. There. All that work just for that. Pretty, um, what's the word I'm thinking? Pretty uneventful, but that little bit caused a lot of running issues. Okay, so let's put these back in. So I'm being extra cautious. I'm just checking to make sure this uh, wood row key isn't damaged or sheared or anything. Making sure the groove is good. Just in case it's giving me a false reading on the timing mark. Although I am looking at the piston watching it go up and down. And in here, uh, looks good. So I'm gonna put this back on and make sure this is on straight and then uh, we'll have a look at our timing marks one one last time before we put everything back together okay i got all that back on and if you take a straight edge put it halfway on the crank right here and then put it up here I and mean, then I don't know if it's going to show up on the on the camera, but it lines up perfectly with that mark. You know? And <clears throat> so. Pretty satisfied that that's, you know, straight up and down. And then you can also look at the piston. I don't know if you can see in there or not, but you can turn the crank and uh, see the piston just peak right there, which is right on our mark. It's just straight up and down. Pretty satisfied with that. So now I'm gonna put it all back together again. <laughs> And get the engine back in the frame. All right, I'll bring you back when I got something something good to show you. Okay, so I got the engine back in the bike and got the fuel tank on it this time, and it's working good. But uh, yeah, so we'll start it up and hear how she sounds. <laughs>
so it's uh, running pretty good now. I'm pretty happy about that. It was a bit of a pain in the butt having to take the motor back out of the frame and just to skip the chain one too, so it was a lot of work. But, you know, it is what it is. It ain't gonna run properly until you do until you do it. So no point in whining about it, just get it done. And uh, that's what I did. So yeah, so that's good. Pretty happy about that. But I just wanted to put that video out there in case anybody else was struggling with something like that and uh, was wondering how to check it before they go and do all that work and, you know, find out that it wasn't that or something, you know, like, it's nice to know these things before you start, you know, tearing out, tearing into it. Anyways, um, I uh, hope that helps and uh, I want to thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you again real soon. Center Stand Mechanics out.